Now we will see what's the meaning of biasing and the MOS transistor. The meaning of this biasing is that establishing the appropriate DC operating point for the transistor. Then what is the meaning this biasing appropriate DC operating point? What's all these things? Let's see that. In a usual transistor, that means in a MOS transistor, we will see its uh, picture. It's the MOS transistor. Here, by making stable and uh, predictable drain source voltage and the ID constant, that means uh, we need to make this uh, drain source voltage and uh, that's the VDS and this ID that uh, we have to make that as a constant then or the stable or the predictable value then we can say that uh, we biased the MOS transistors for that how we can make this uh, ID as a constant that's the question so if we make this VGS as a constant then we may think that we can make this ID as constant to make this VGS constant uh, that we can easily make by using some voltage divider with uh, the supply the power supply voltage is the VDD then by using some voltage uh, divider circuits uh, we can make this VG constant from that we can make ideas constant but the actual thing is the ID it not only depends upon the VGS for that, I will write an equation which connects this um, ID with uh, some other things. Let's see what's that. We have an equation ID. Okay. ID equals to 1, 1 by 2. 1 by 2 of... Uh, mu n c o x w by l into v g s minus v t whole square here in this equation this um, c o x is the oxide capacitance and um, w by l it is the we now this uh, weight to the length uh, ratio and uh, Vt is the threshold voltage. From this equation, we can see that this ID not only depends upon this VGS. This ID does not only depend upon the VGS. It also depends upon this uh, Vt and this COX and W by L. So then this mu n. This W by L and this uh, COX that you know, oxide capacitance they vary with the size and uh, if the size and the type same then also these values may vary. It depends upon this uh, this ID uh, depends upon this the temperature also. So by making this VGS as constant we cannot say that uh, our transistor is uh, fully biased because the ID depends upon the VT that is the threshold temperature. So what we can do for this? Let's see the another uh, method that is the biasing or um, biasing by fixing the VG that means uh, we are making this VG as the constant and um, connecting one series uh, resistance with the source. For that yeah, I will uh, show how to do that. Now we will uh, clear this page. Yeah. For that, now if we have the our uh, MOS, okay, this is my MOS transistor. Here I will connect one resistance. This is my source, and this is RS, okay this RS and this is my source and this is the drain and here this is ID ID is flowing like this and 
this is my gate and here plus vg this is vg this ground okay this i will ground by making this vg as a constant we can make we can uh, make this id somewhat uh, here here okay here this id somewhat constant to the given id that means uh, the biasing rate is uh, somewhat increase so now if we apply the kcl here not the kcl if we apply the kvl in for uh, uh, this uh, loop then yeah here we are dealing with the voltage so it's a kvl sorry for the fatal that kcl okay here if we apply the kvl for this loop then we will get that plus vg and here is the voltage between this gate and the source that's uh, vgs we'll show that yeah here this is the vg and this is uh, vgs this is the voltage between the gate and the source so if we apply the kvl for this we will get that vg plus vg and this is the minus vgs plus vg minus vgs then minus id into rs because this is the rs and the current flowing here is the id id into rs that's equal to 0 so from this we can say that vg equal to vgs plus id into rs okay yeah mm. i will show you from this we get that vg equal to vgs plus id into rs so vg is a constant because this we are keeping the constant now now for a reason we will assume that this id this will increase okay but vg is constant this is constant if the ig in if this id increased uh, slightly then to satisfy this equation this vgs has to decrease so indirectly when this vgs decreases this id has to decrease because um, in this circuit yeah in this uh, mos circuit we see that here is the register rs in this uh, mos transistor we see that this is the vgs and this is the id okay this side is the id and this is the vgs so in this we see that this id depends upon this vgs so in this equation if the vgs reduces then indirectly the id has to be reduced but what happens is there is a negative feedback from this uh, register rs at this time so that try to keep this id as constant the id which is coming here no that id this uh, series resistance negative feedback tries to keep that id as the constant easily you remember that the negative feedback from this uh, series resistance rs in the source side which keeps this id which tries to makes this id as constant that is so this action of this resistance negative feedback action is called as the degeneration resistance this action degeneration of this of the resistance
but this is also not very good method to um, biasing the diode we will see some more two to three steps by using the capacitors and all in the further videos thank you